My name is Bob O'Neill. I'm the ASNT NDT Level 3 here at World Testing, located in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. So this particular test is called a magnetic particle testing. So what we're going to do here is energize this part and create a magnetic field in the part. And then we're going to put a fluid on it that has small fluorescent metal particles on it. And then if there's a break in that magnetic field, um, that would indicate there's a crack. And those fluorescent particles will actually gather towards that crack. Made in the 1940s. Um, Back then, they, they had a real good uh, metal process to, uh, to manufacture equipment, and, um, but they're still good parts today. This carrier fluid goes on, and then when I energized it, any crack is basically creates a little magnetic field leakage, and then the particles draw to that leakage field, and then it fluoresces. So if there was a crack here, it would be highly fluorescent. If you look right here and see this pin, so that pin is supposed to be there, but the magnetic particle test actually picks up that it's not fused to the steel, which it's not supposed to be, but you can see that we picked that pin up in that material um, because there's a gap between that and the steel. That's what an indication would look like if there was a crack anywhere on this rod. It will correct uh, anything from any type of shafts that are made out of steel. We can test those with magnetic particle testing. And then, uh, of course, the boiler tubes, we can do ultrasound testing on those uh, for thickness. This magnetic particle test here is using a coil wrap. It's just another way of putting magnetism into the part. So we'll energize this coil and we'll spray the fluid on here that's got the fluorescent particles in it. And then if there's a field leakage in this part that's, that will uh, show us a crack. So this is basically just another way of doing larger parts that we actually can't get into the uh, machine. And we do very large parts such as the connecting rods that are on the wheels that uh, those are tested uh, for cracks using magnetic particle testing. My father worked at uh, the Nashville Bridge Company, located right there in downtown Nashville. He worked in the quality department, and he did x-rays there on the barges that were produced there in Nashville. Uh, years later, he went into uh, some testing for other testing labs, traveled all over the country, and um, when we got of age, he started his own company in 1979, and my brother and I went to work for him um, doing uh, testing out in the field and uh, been doing that for for quite a while and uh, after our dad passed away uh, in 2002 we uh, my brother and I became partners and took over the business and it's been uh, been great we're really versatile in the industry we serve from automotive to uh, utilities natural gas to uh, structural steel buildings we do uh, parts that go into aerospace We've got parts uh, that goes into bridges. Uh, if it's made out of steel, we can test it. Well, I've been involved with this, with this testing on the train, uh, just because you know we love doing helping our community, um, doing uh, projects like this. So we were thrilled. It's not many times that we have opportunity in the industry that we're in that we can actually help the community because it's so specific to what we do. My great grandfather worked on the railroad as a shop worker. So uh, that's a little bit of our inspiration to, to give back. World Testing is a proud supporter of the restoration of the 576.